Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to look at the external parts of a fish. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you a picture of a fish and there's about 10 or 12 parts labeled. Let's see if you can name as many parts as you can and then we'll go through it together. The reason why we're doing it in the fish hobby, you constantly hear people talking about the dorsal fin or the caudal fin or the operculum and all these different parts. So it's just nice to make sure that we know what those parts are so we can understand what people are talking about. So, Okay, everyone. So here we have a picture of a fish. Uh, Eli, my nine-year-old son, drew this fish. He's way better at drawing than I am. So thank you, Eli, for getting this picture on the whiteboard for us. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We've got 12 things labeled here. And I'd like you to see if you, can lay, if you can name all 12 of these parts of a fish, and then go ahead, pause the video, do that, and then we'll restart it and we'll see how well you did. All right, so we're gonna start at the top, number one. Number one is pointed those two little spots right there. Just like us, fish have nostrils. On a fish, we call them nares. And so they're used for the same purpose that we have, and that is to sense the surroundings around them via smell, so they can, they can pick up scents. Some fish have better senses of smell than others, like catfish. Uh, fish that live in really murky water, sometimes they rely heavily on their sense of smell and not so much on their sense of sight. So the first one was the nares. Number two, if you said eyes, you are correct. Those are the eyes of the fish. Again, some fish rely more on eyesight than others. A lot of fish that are in murky water are going to rely less on their eyes, more on their, their sense of smell. Number three, if you said gills, that's not a bad answer. Uh, this structure here is actually covering the gills. It's called the operculum. And again, the operculum is a structure on the fish that covers the gills, the gills underneath are involved in gas exchange. And so that's the way the fish obtains oxygen, releases CO2, and believe it or not, it releases a lot of ammonia through the gills, more so in many cases than what they would secrete via fish urine or feces. And so that's the operculum that's covering the gills. Up here, this is kind of the same thing, even though we've got it labeled as two different parts. They are both the dorsal fin. So if you said that, awesome. So we've got dorsal here and dorsal here. Now for this particular fish, there's two slightly different types. The first one is called the spiny dorsal. And as you can see in the picture, there are little spikes sticking off the top of a dorsal fin. This is protection for the fish. And some of you, if you've ever gone fishing and you're trying to grab a fish and unhook it, sometimes you get, you get spiked by the, the fish fins and that's these little spikes here. It helps protect the fish when they're getting eaten. I mean, imagine if you took a bite of that and you got those things stuck in the roof of your mouth, that would not feel too good. And so that's kind of the purpose there. It's also a concern when you see fish that are consuming another fish, their prey fish, backwards. And so they're eating it, instead of eating it from the head backwards, they're eating it from the tail. These spikes can sometimes get caught in the mouth and that can trap the fish. And then both fish wind up dying in the process. Now, as we go further back, it's still dorsal, but now these are the soft rays. And so they're not quite as spiky, uh, but they still are there. And then some fish, of course, they don't have both types. Some just have more of the spiny dorsal. Others maybe more of the soft dorsal. But again, that's the fin on the top. Okay, so now we're moving on. Number six, uh, some people call this the tail fin. Uh, it's also known as the caudal fin. And so that's the fin on the back half of the fish. Down here, number seven. It's the area that's connecting the main body of the fish to the tail or the caudal fin, and that is called the peduncle. And so again, that's just the area that's connecting the, the body to the tail. And then we've got number eight over here, and that's this dotted line that we see here. Now, that dotted line is called the lateral line. And the lateral line is a sensory structure for the fish, and they can sense vibrations in the water, and it's useful for that. And so if you, it, sometimes it's really hard to see on a fish, but 
in almost all fish, if you look closely and you look hard enough, you'll start to see that line in your fish. Some it's a lot easier to see than others. So this fin over here, number nine, that is the anal fin. And the placement and the structure of that fin may look different depending on the fish that we're talking about. So number 10. Number 10 is the pelvic fin. And this fin, again, it may look a little bit different depending on the type of fish. It may be, have slightly different placement depending on the type of fish. If we go over here to number 11, that is the pectoral fin. And then finally 12, we've got a very difficult part of the fish to identify and that is its mouth. All right, everyone. So there you have it. That's the parts of a fish. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's, it's not terribly difficult, the external parts. At some point in the future, we'll talk more about the internal parts of a fish and their role in keeping fish alive and what they do. Again, Eli, thank you for drawing that picture for us. It was a big help because I wouldn't have been able to do it. I probably would have drawn a stick figure fish. So if you like this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.